Hello and welcome to the first part of what I would like to call my Tech It Tutorials. So here I am in this uh, ravaged landscape and so uh, I'll switch over to my first thing which I call a uh, blaze rod duplicator. <laughs> you should ignore that other stuff. So basically what this is, is it's a way to get unlimited EMC from blaze rods. It's pretty cool. It's not that, not that complicated. I'll probably make it a little more compact, but I don't want to. So in a minute, I'll, uh, I'll just give you a walk through of how it works, all the different stuff that it does. So uh, I'll just set it to noon for the soul. Panel. Right. So first of all, got some soul power arrays, which provide the power. And then we have it goes from glass fiber cable up into this master It's got two overclockers and two transformers that can handle the power. I'll probably uh, make it a rotary one, but I didn't really want to. So anyway, you put the blaze rod into the macerator and it macerates it. You do five to macerate it into five blaze powder. The blaze powder gets taken along in a pipe into this, the energy condenser. As you can see, five blaze powder has made two blaze rods. So basically, when you get the rate, it makes one and a half blaze rods from the EMC. So, so it takes the pipe, takes it out the condenser, into the here, uh, it's an equal split, so half of it goes into this crystal chest, which is already filling up, and then half goes back into this Macerator. So really, it's just an infinite plus one machine of plates. Pretty good, eh? So this is the uh, the blaze rod duplicator. It's all like from Google and You could uh, switch it to a rotary macerator if you wanted to make it go quicker. And if you want to power a lot more of them, then you can have to use more solar panels. By the way, I uh, didn't do this legit. I was just on creative mode, playing around. So that is the blaze rod duplicator. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more Tech It tutorials. Bye. <coughs>